All right then, so we've done the sign up and we've done the sign in form. The next thing I'd like to do is another form, but this time to create a new project. So it's going to have similar features to our other forms in that we're going to need some way to handle the change of an input field and handle submit and all that kind of jazz. And the general structure is going to be the same as the sign up and sign in form as well. So instead of rewriting the whole thing from scratch, what I'm going to do is grab the sign in form over here. So you don't have to watch me write out a whole new form again. And then I'm going to go to create project and I'm going to paste this right in here. So first of all, let's change the class to create project. And then at the end, let's export that. So create project. And then we just need to change the content of the form. Now, first of all, the state right here, we're using email and password. We don't want to ask a user for the email and password when they're creating a new project. Instead, we want a title of the project and the content of the project. They're the two different things we need from the user in this form. So we'll change this to title and this to content. Okay, so down here in the form itself, where we have the first input field, currently it's email. So let's change this to title and we'll change the HTML4 attribute and change the ID attribute as well. So let's delete those and change those to title. And the type of this input field will be text. So that's the first input field. And when we change the value inside that, when we type inside it, it's going to fire this function, handle change, which is up here. We don't need to change this because all it's doing is grabbing the ID of the target element, which is in this case title. And it's saying, okay, we'll update that property title in the state with the value of the target element. Okay, so we don't need to change any of that. The same goes for the next one down here. We're going to change this from password to content. Now, instead of an input type right here, what we're going to do is a text area. So let me just delete the input first of all. And instead, we'll do text area. Now, this is going to have a class of materialize hyphen text area just to give it some styling. And then we'll give this an ID as well right here and this will be content because that is the name of the property we want to update over here right and remember we're using the id to get that name now down here we can delete a few things we can delete the name attribute we can also delete this calls and rows we don't need those in there either now we do want an on change event handler much like we have for this input field so we can just copy that one and we can paste that down here like so and we'll change this right here to content because that is going to match up to this ID and we'll call this project content instead of just content. Okay, so now we want to change this from login to create. So that's the button the user is going to press when they want to create the project. And then on submit, it's going to fire this thing over here, handle submit. And inside here, we're just preventing the default action first, which prevents the page from reloading. We want that to happen, so we keep that in. And then all we're doing is logging this dot state. So whatever the title and content is at that moment in time, okay? So we've created this form right here. The next thing we need to do is set up a route for this component so that when a user goes to forward slash create, then we load in this form component. So to do that, let's go to app.js. And first of all, import that create project component. So import create project from dot forward slash components. And then it's in the projects folder, then create project. All right then, so now let's do a route. I'm just gonna alt shift and down to duplicate this. Then the path is gonna be create and the component we want to load in when we go to forward slash create is create project. All right then, so let's see if this works. In a browser, we will go to forward slash create and see if this loads. Now we get a title and project content. So title, Yoshi's Egg Hunt. Help Yoshi find all of the eggs. All right, so create. 
and we get this logged to the console over here the title and the content so that's the state of this component we're successfully now tracking what the user types into these different fields and then logging it to the console and again later on instead of just logging it to a console what we're going to do is reach out and we're going to add this to a database using firestore but for now the general structure and workings of this component are pretty much done we just need to change this title from sign in to create project so we'll say create new project right there save it and this should look okay in a browser okay so there we go now we have our create project component done and if we just have a little nosy at this thing over here again so now we can see we've got the app nav signed in links and signed out links all done the dashboard is done the project list is done the notifications are done project details are done and create project is done sign in is done and sign up is done as well